The world is currently exploring new methods for generating energy, instead of relying on fossil fuel that causes environment pollution and considering that fact that fossil fuels are rapidly depleting. Therefore, renewable energy such as solar, wind, and tidal is considered the pragmatic approach in reducing the dependency on fossil fuels. This is merely because these sources of energy are abundant and environmentally friendly. Despite obvious advantages of these energy generation medium, there are still challenges facing their wide-scale adaptation, such as intermittency and energy supply at certain times. A technology already considered as being mature is compressed air energy storage CAES, that stores energy by pressurizing air into a depleted oil well or salt mine during low demand and expanding it in air turbines coupled with electrical generators when the demand peaks. The constraint of this system is the efficiency of air driving turbine is very low. Another idea is pumped hydro storage system PHS. This system consists of a lower and an upper reservoir connected to a reversible pump turbine and motor. Excess electricity is used during off-peak periods to store energy by moving water from the lower to upper reservoir. Energy is generated by releasing water from upper reservoir to the lower one during peak hours. The main limitation of this energy storage system is due to geographical restriction. A good solution to this limitation is a combination of both named compressed air gravity system CAGS. During storage charging mode, excess energy is used to pump water into container. During this process, the piston compresses the air and reach a maximum pressure that can withstand by container. For discharging mode, the high pressurized air will push the piston down which applies a high pressure on water. The pressurized water passes through the turbine driving the generator which produces electrical energy. Why this CAGS can replace the traditional method? CAGS has overcome the low efficiency of air driving turbine and does not require specific topography. As May Barada revealed that any addition of 1 MPa air pressure is equivalent to raising the water by 100 meters in PHS and it can store an interesting amount of 32.5 megawatt hours rather than 20 megawatt hours in PHS. Xing Yi, you are expert in economic analysis. Can you show me a rough figure on this system? Sure, why yes. Profit is one of the concerns for the renewable energy storage. Low cost usually leads to high profit. The equipment cost of CAGS, PHS and CAES are $301 per kilowatt, $217 per kilowatt and $317 per kilowatt respectively. There are some reasons that the overall cost of CAGS is expected lower than the conventional renewable energy storage system like CAES and PHS. First of all, the design of CAGS allows it has the same energy production with even lower containers height than PHS. Of course, the higher the containers height, the higher the construction cost. We can see that if compared to PHS, CAGS may have the same equipment cost but with adding compressed air equipment. Unlike CAES, CAGS does not require heat exchanger. Also, the cost of hydraulic equipments are less than expander. Let's look at the environmental aspects of CAGS, utilize underground water storage and thus don't require large water supply from reservoir. In addition, no cooling and heating processing CAGS system, as the compression of air is slow and ensuring it is isothermal compression. Of course, no heat will release to surrounding to contribute to thermal pollution. Unlike traditional energy storage like battery, it would not have toxic effluent and cause less pollution. Well, these indeed complete the idea of CAGS. I believe that CAGS is a promising renewable energy storage system in the future. As the saying goes, energy saved is energy generated. Energy depletion is a global phenomenon at the present time. This issue can be overcome if and only if we focus on using renewable energy and make a great improvement on renewable energy storage. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.